So here's one for all hail. Um, the the whole thing it, it's an E, so we're going to use all these E open shapes. So uh, uh, the main riff is around the E five chord here, um, and then uh, the 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 cheat you might say that I use for a B is to to play. So I take my E there, take my pinky off, and put down my ring finger. So now I'm playing the, I guess it's the third and the root there, and then I put my, my uh, I don't bar, but I put my root note there, and I mute out the A string, letting then those ring, and you get this. So you're playing an E, you just move, <laughs> really, it's, you can't even almost see it. You pick up the pinky and put down the ring, and then you've got a B. And you can slide that back one, and you get your A. Slide it back up, to E, and then there's a quick A uh, back in there, and then when I go to that last A, I play it open. Um, I don't try to go from here over to here. I mean, it's easy enough to do, but it just uh, is really easy to go. Keep this um, this idea, right? Just these two, which is just the upper upper part of the bar chord, but we want to keep these bottom strings open and just slide it back here. So A, instead of, instead of writing there, just an open A. So it sounds exactly as the, like this. But it's a lot easier to go than it is to go. It just feels like one less bar chord for me. So that's that's it. Hail, hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Um, so then there's that, uh, just goes back to E, the little walk down. So it's just on the A string, two, then open, then four on the E, two on the E, back up to four on the, on the E to get to that G sharp, which, um, is, you know, essentially implying a E over G sharp. Um, and then we're going to do that walk down. So. E. Uh, it's a B over D sharp. There are a couple other names you could put on that, I'm sure. To a C sharp minor. And again, everything is ringing that open. So it's just a C sharp minor bar chord, only we pick up the bar and just play the root and just have these two fingers here playing that. Pretty standard with the E open shapes. Uh, the only other odd thing here is then it goes to an F sharp sus. Um, and again, I cheat that a little bit because the sus is this note here. So if we were playing an F sharp, to, you, we'd, we'd raise the third to sus it. Right? So uh, what I do is I, I, I do more of a bar, and then I just play the uh, root and the sus itself, this, uh, this note here. So sounds like that. So uh, that's just because we're we're passing, and we're kind of doing a, a, st a stop on it. So it's because we're trying to get to the B, right? It's like F sharp, F sharp, B. Um, then it starts kind of a, a, a walking bass line, if you will. So we we'll hit the B. Then we open it up. It's kind of a B over A. Walk to the 
uh, E over G sharp, really, but it's kind of like, in this case, it looks like a B over E sharp. Then we do C sharp minor. We do an F sharp. Uh, this is an F sharp. So <laughs> I do F sharp minor, where uh, play that, no A string, play these two, and then open on the bottom or the top. So it looks like that, which comes to a B. We do an E to an A, back up to B. So that whole sequence, um, you do the the interlude which is that the faster bit um, which literally just walks down the major scale playing chords so it, you're gonna do um, right um, that's the those are the notes that's the rhythm the chords that go into it you know probably have you know they're fancier sounding but um, e, e, that E over I'm sorry B over D sharp and then a quick C sharp minor to, to B. All right. And once you get past this chord, and that's the only one that doesn't have this, this shape. You just move this shape. Right? And that first walk down. So you can... I'm just taking this shape and using the same fingering. Only I don't have to play anything here because it's A. And then just four, two, open. Back into back into the verse. Um, That's what I'm doing. Hope it helps.